Entertainment reporter and host of the Lauren Interviews podcast, Lauren Conlon. Thank you so much for joining me in studio. So I, I want to go straight to the, uh, the Facebook post, and this yes. is totally him. Thank you, everyone, for your kindness, love, Richard, and it's the big happy face with the thank you. What happened? The sweetest. Entertaining. It's incredibly eye-opening, and it really gives us an inside look on Richard and how he really felt about everything. Now, everybody knows him as this over-the-top, larger-than-life man. He really struggled inside. Mm. He really, really cared about everybody he helped. So he internalized that. I mean, some people said that he would be so emotional that he would he would cry until he snotted everywhere, you know, because he was so invested and in his clients. Now, I think back and, and, you know, how sensitive he was, and he probably wouldn't be able to handle... It's the, too much. The, well, today, the uh, trolls on TikTok and the trolls on Twitter, I mean, and, you know, how sad now, that if he's telling Larry King that he doesn't want to go on with Suzanne Summers yeah. because he's afraid she's going to make fun of him, which he said in the documentary, I mean, I cannot even imagine and how he would feel I now. I think he was incredibly smart to do this, right? To step he, away from the public eye while he was at the top. You I mean, applaud him for doing that. I do. I mean, Joe yeah. Biden, like, you could left a long time ago. Oh. Yeah. You know what I'm it's saying? Like, he really is smart. So basically, Richard was born without certain bones in his foot, which is really hard on his knees. I mean, he's 74 years old. So at this point, he walks with a cane. He didn't want to go out, you know, being this this man that's that's elderly and and can't move around. He wanted to be the you know the larger in life Richard that we all know. So I do. I think it was smart. Now at the end of the documentary, now, I kind of want to go to LA and just stake out and look for him, you know? <laughs> you have Anyone. to give us the exclusive on that. So I gotta yeah. ask you, do you wish more celebrities were doing it? Because you made this, you, you're joking, but it's actually great. Mm -hmm. You know, people used to like Joe Biden. He could have left on top. He could have. And now you're seeing him in a diminished state. Mm -hmm. He didn't want that for himself. Should more celebrities do that? You know, I think that if they they have the means. I think Richard had the means to. At one point, he was worth over $250 million. It's not like he needed the money. I think a lot of people don't have a choice. They have to work. So, you know, it's it's that. It's also narcissism. Mm. I mean, I hate to say it. I was it, waiting but... on you to say I'm like, they're just so full of themselves. <laughs> like, let's keep it real. They want to be on TV. Yo, Lawrence, I'm yeah. an entertainment reporter. <laughs> I, can't be that, I can't be that negative. to celebrities. Like, I'm, I'm yeah. going around them all the time. I really want the exclusive going forward. <laughs> Exactly, I can't say exactly. all of them are a bunch of so uh, narcissists. That's exactly what they are. I mean, no, it's true. So I, I completely understand why they want to continue to work. And, and again, sometimes they need to. They need the money. But Richard didn't. Lauren, it's good to have you in the studio. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thank you.